Welcome to Music Talk 3. My name is Marcellus Green, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about how um, and where I get my inspiration from to write music. Well, and um, some of it comes from sad things, um, of course, but a lot of my, my inspiration comes from happy thoughts, happy things that happen during the day or night or morning. Like, for example, it's about 10 minutes to midnight, October 15th, Tuesday, and um, got to hang out with my mom uh, for, for an hour or so, a couple hours ago, and it was pretty cool. I don't get to hang out with my mom that much. Um, uh, got to show her some new stuff I'm doing and showed her my new drum set I, I, I purchased, and it was pretty neat talking to her about life, Um, but that just that alone is a good inspiration for me to write. And me personally, I'm going to talk about some of the things I do before I write or what I use to write. Um, first of all, I love good drum beats. I don't care if it's a loop, if I write it and I loop it. Or not necessarily loop, because I don't loop. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. I do not loop. I'll write it in maybe four measures or eight, and I'll... Uh, copy it and paste it I don't loop because I write my music all I do um, complete songs even though the drum beat may repeat itself and it may be paced along the track I always play my songs all the way out everything all the music always play all the way out because I don't know what feeling I'm gonna get when I'm writing I mean even if I'm just doing this because this is the ideal I just came up with in my head even if I'm doing this, but somewhere down the line, I might want to, uh, I might not want to do it like that. I might want to invert that chord. I might want to do this or whatever, you know, it changes. So I always play it all the way out. So second, before I do anything, I'm always thinking, do I want drums in it? Or I, do I just want music or a piano with strings or something? So, normally, I when I use drum beats, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell or share my secrets. I believe in using um, drum samples because I write all my music. And even though I write a lot of my drum beats, I like drum samples. I pay for those. And um, I have a whole bunch of them. I, I um, I know um, this may sound like a lot of money, but I have uh, uh, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars worth of drum samples, okay, and and then nice samples, uh, the uh, frequency, the sound quality uh, are real nice. Um, now those come in handy if I don't feel like writing. And um, again, I do my own music, but sometimes I do use sample drum patterns. And also, I have um, seven, seven or eight drum machines. I try to keep some of the top major drum machines around me. I, um, I'm used to those. I love them because um, sometimes you can't find a beat or a sample. And then again, I like doing my own drum patterns as well. So I use my drum machines. Um, I love that Akai XR16 machine. I think that's the one I really love. And I love Elise's products um, for real sound sounding drums. But if I want to get into R&B mode, I pull out my MP7 by Emu. That, yeah, that uh, Emu MP7, if you could find one of those, they are off the chain, especially if you're doing R&B. And I, um, then um, after I, 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 if I come up um, with a drum beat or I write it out, sometimes I pull up a drum kit on my keyboard and I play it all the way out. Now, keep in mind, some of my patterns are, are maybe four, six or eight measures long. Then I'll copy it and paste it on down the line once it's trimmed properly. And, um, and it won't be anything else done with that drum beat. And I do that a lot. But. My music, I can't do that way because you never know how, again, like I said earlier, you don't know how you're going to feel while you're a minute into the song or two minutes. You might not play the expression on how you play a chord. maybe may be different two minutes into the song. 
So that's why I play everything all the way out. And a lot of people ask, sometimes people ask me, say, why you do that? Why don't, why don't you just loop it? No, because I like, I never know how I'm going to feel. And um, I may not play that bottom root note um, on the chord somewhere down the line. I may change that root note. Same chord, but it may be an inversion. But that's just me. I take my I take the time to do that. And even though it, does, it, it seems like it's a lot of work, it's not. Because um, I already know my heart. Because I play, I normally play from uh, my heart and and my inspiration. And um, and I try to play it all the way through. That's another thing I do. I very seldomly do or write a song and don't finish it. If I write a song or start writing, I'm going to finish that song within 30 minutes to two hours at the most. That's a, And two hours is saying a lot because normally I do the whole song within an hour. But uh, give me a couple of hours, I'll lay it out with horns, um, strings, bass. Because, um, again, the concept for me is laying down the chords. That's the trick with me. Once I lay the chords down... I already know what else follows in my mind. So being um excited tonight, um, spending time with my mom, um, gave me an idea for a song. I played uh, some of the chords earlier, but I didn't play um, the little change. So I'm going to play about a minute of it for you and show you what it can possibly lead up to. Um, and keep in mind, I'm a, I am a melodic keyboard player. I believe in putting melodies in my chords because I don't sing a lot and I do like singing, but a lot of my music is instrumental and I believe in that my chords or my melodies do what I would do if I were going to sing. So, um, I'm going to start this. I'm going to do this song in, um, I guess B is B sharp. Maybe. I don't know. So, That's my concept. Then from there, you can just do the chords like. reason I'm saying it like that because I'm setting myself up for soloing because I like to solo and mainly with the piano on top of my music so that is one of the ways I write and um, I'm always setting myself up for a groove always and then I'm thinking about how can I turn the music around how can I turn it around and have that residual resolve or re re resolved effect so this, for example, if I um, I think this might work. So if I do that, go back. Now watch this. See what I mean when I say resolve? Then you can put your little solo on top. You can end it like that, or you can end it. Like that. So I'm always thinking about where I'm going with my music. And with that, we'll get off into adding that third track other than the drums and the uh, piano. Again, my name is Marcellus. I hope you enjoyed this music talk. And you and try to enjoy the rest of your night or morning. Again, it's pretty late. And... Peace.